Okay, so let's uh, move on to equilateral triangle. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. You have axes and you have side length. So 250 millimeters, click OK. Hit the A key and makes a triangle that is equal on all three sides. Okay, so, and according to this, um, you know, you can change the, the size. So you can make a big one. Okay. So that's if you want, you don't want to have to line everything up or measure it or anything. It makes a perfect perfect triangle every time. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, then there is the, let's, uh, sorry, let's delete that. And let's move on to bubbles. Okay, and it says you must have some reference points to perform this operation. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the points tool here. And whoops, let's with the uh, right mouse button, click down some points. Okay, and let's see what happens if we click on bubbles now. So there's different kinds of bubbles. There's sphere type, globe excuse me, and tessellated, tessellation level, um, you've got maximum radius, minimum radius, globe sides, globe segments, and you can actually give it a surface name, which is bubble right now. Okay, let's click OK. Okay, notice how a whole whack of them look like they're all piled in over top of each other. Um, a great way to get the size of this uh, where you want it without having to do anything inside of the parameters is do a test bubble first with one point. So let's go control Z. Whoops. Let's delete that out. Let's do points. Let's right click down one space bar. Let's just put down one point. Okay. And click bubbles and click OK. Okay, so it makes one ball. Now what you can do is you can zoom out and go back down to points. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. Okay, and click bubbles, boink, and then they all go to that actual point. Okay, let's uh, clear this out. And uh, let's try something else. Let's go point, 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 click. Now let's see what happens if we deselect those. Let's see if it'll still actually attach itself to those points without them actually physically being selected. Okay. And it does, and that works fine. Okay, let's uh, undo. Okay, let's... Let's lay down just one point, go to bubbles. So, um, so same, like I said, we got all those different um, <clears throat> parameters as well. Maximum radius, minimum radius. Um, it looks like what it does is it sort of randomizes the bubbles, uh, the size of the bubbles. Um, if you put, theoretically, if you put, say, one and one, um, let's actually first, let's make some more bubbles. Okay. And space bar. Okay. If we put one meter maximum radius and minimum radius, let's see if the bubbles are this come out the same size. Yes. Okay. So now, if we undo, whoops, let's clear that out. 
Oops, we need to make some points. I want to see if we make the maximum and minimum size extremely different, whether we'll have extremely different sizes of bubbles. Uh, the default setting is 5 meters. Let's go for 10 meters. Okay. And notice makes a whole bunch of different sizes. This might be a fast way to make some planets or something like that, all various sizes, or like I said, or bubbles. Okay, let's go, let's delete that out. Uh, let's make some points. And let's just test one more feature of it. Uh, we got a globe. So now instead of being tessellated where it's triangles, now we got quads and, but we have to still have the typical um, spheres that like the ball tool where it actually creates triangles on the the poles of the actual sphere them spheres themselves okay so I think that we're done for that and we'll move on to the uh, the next tool